Cybersecurity Report identifies top five cyber crime rings. In this video, you will come to know about the top five cyber crime rings. The question is, how will organized cyber crime rings work? Without any delay, let's get into the video. Just like a standard enterprise, a cyber crime ring typically adheres to clear organizational structure, one with well-defined roles and an agreed-on chain of command. At the top will be an organizational leader, an individual responsible for conceiving of and planning each cyber attack and ensuring that every person below them understands their role and communicates effectively both up and across the chain of command. According to a report of CyberWork, Hafnium and DarkSide are the top-rated cybercrime groups of professionals of cybersecurity. The report from the cyber workforce received from different labs, which were analyzed by labs of cyber knowledge, their skills and judgment section from over a million experiments are operated by more than 2,100 organizations just in the last 18 months. It was done to analyze the capabilities of cybersecurity forces and their security. This report simply states that cybersecurity forces give priority to knowledge, skills, and judgment, and the development against other threat groups. The top five groups of interest are 1. UNC 2452 Solar Winds, 2. Iranian Threat Groups, 3. Fin 7, 4. Hafnium, 5. Dark Side. U.S. intelligence agencies say Russian threat actors are likely behind SolarWinds hack. The NSC, National Security Council, staff released an update about the recent incident of cybersecurity, which involves the federal government and other private companies. The NSC then made a special task force, which is known as the Cyber Unified Coordination Group, UCG, composed of the FBI, CISA, and ODNI, with support from NSA to coordinate the investigation and remediation of this cyber incident. This report gives an idea towards the advanced president threat, APT actor, likely Russian, who is responsible for recent cybercrime, which compromises both government and non-government networks. There was a statement which states that at this time, we believe this was and continues to be an intelligence gathering effort. We are taking all necessary steps to understand the full scope of this campaign and respond accordingly. 18,000 customers of public and private sectors of SolarWinds is a much smaller number, which was finalized by UCG, which has identified less than 10 agencies of U.S. government and moreover, the non-government agencies was also identified. This is a serious compromise that will require a consistent and devoted effort. It was stated the Russian attribution will make for great headlines, but it shouldn't change how most defenders respond to the SolarWinds incident. Now, you will get to know about Hafnium and the dark side. 30,000 U.S. organizations breached by cyber espionage group Hafnium. Approximately 30,000 U.S. organizations have been hacked by a Chinese cyber espionage unit known as Hafnium. The group is targeting and destroying security vulnerabilities in Microsoft Exchange Server email software. In the past week, Microsoft released emergency security updates to fix this problem and announced that the group operates from China with a specific purpose of extracting the data from different industries, including infectious disease, law firms, and higher education institutions, and also the NGOs. According to Krebs on Security, the experts say Hafnium has an increase in its growth in their attacks. It is a malicious way that gives an access to the attacker with a feasible way to launch attacks using a compromised web server. One of the senior directors says that these vulnerabilities are significant and need to be taken seriously. They allow attackers to remotely execute commands on these servers without the need for credentials and any threat actor could potentially abuse them. The broad installation of Exchange and its exposure to the internet mean that many organizations running an on-premises Exchange server could be at risk. Attackers are actively exploiting these vulnerabilities with the primary technique being the deployment of web shells. This, if unaddressed, could allow the threat actor to remotely execute commands for as long as the web shell is present. CISA publishes malware analysis report and updates alert on dark side ransomware. 
In an updated alert, CISA has published a new malware analysis. Report MAR on DarkSide Ransomware DarkSide is a ransomware as a service, RAAS. The developers of the ransomware receive a share of the proceeds from the cybercriminal users who deploy it. Known as affiliates, DarkSide users are targeting multiple large, high-revenue organizations, resulting in the encryption and the stealing of sensitive and important data. The dark side itself claims that their attacks are preferred for such organizations that can afford to pay large ransoms instead of hospitals, schools, nonprofits, and governments. CISA recommends that users and administrators consider the best methods to strengthen their security systems for their organizations. If there would be any changes in the system, owners will configure it to avoid unwanted activities. These such groups have become more rapid and their development of capability is more significant. The qualities like judgment, skills, and knowledge are there to defend against solar winds like it was built nearly eight times quicker than average. 35,000 cybersecurity team members were analyzed inside 400 large organizations, which took over three months. A long lag in human capabilities contrasts significantly with the widely accepted need for swift technical remediation. Other government cybersecurity bodies like patching as quickly as 48 hours after a vulnerability emerges was an exception to the rule along the lines of cybersecurity teams developing human capabilities within just two days. Ransomware causes great uncertainty for such situations. That's it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.